Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of the Nelkin Car Magnetic Wireless Charger 2. It's a fast charge, fast charge edition with 10 watts max. And look like this. Here we have some additional information. I hope you can see that fast wireless charging connect uh, combining wireless charging and holder function and it has a magnetic design and a 360 degrees rotatable design so here's some additional information but you'll find this on the amazon listing as well of course so you can use it in your car you can use it at home on your desktop um yeah so let's take it out of the box and see what we get so we have to cut the seal on two sides obviously So if we push from one side, it looks like it's opening. Yeah, I didn't cut it fully, so yeah. Okay, it looks really beautiful. So we can flip it and take it out of the box. So that's the full stand and you see there's this ball, this head and you can turn it yeah like you want 360 degrees no problem at all okay that's amazing so probably we have to plug yeah the plug is here on the side so the thing is um yeah let's see if we get the cables because a cable can be important because sometimes what we have that um, we have a problem that not all the cables fit to all these wireless chargers so we get some information or a lot of information there's even a QR code it's in Chinese I can't see what it is here in English okay that's the for the Facebook. That's another thing. Both sites in Chinese user manual. It's yeah. It's in different languages. Some Chinese, English, and probably Russian. Can't see that. But I don't know if you really need that. Hopefully, it will work without of lot instructions here we have some important picture probably so yeah just let's see if everything makes sense what we find here is this box with all the accessories okay so obviously we get a cable which fits to the charge that's really good that's really really important because uh, based on my experience a lot um, yeah there are a lot of wireless chargers out there which require a special cable as you can see here same thing the uh, plug is really small it's tiny so a little bit narrow and so it's important that you have really dedicated cable okay that fits perfectly um that's a 3m tape of course you can stick it on um yeah on in, in the car on your dashboard uh, you can stick it on your desk or Actually, on your desk, you don't need to stick it. I think probably it will hold. 
problem could be that it's not centered as you see so um, yeah maybe we can find uh, something so to stay in place I don't know if it works when we flip it so I will a little bit try on this because anyway when we have it turned down with the plug so it can be a little bit a problem with the desk as you can see so it's not the perfect position maybe we can flip it to the side so nothing's changed just the plug is to the side hopefully it will work too so uh, I will check that out definitely So I have read now all the instructions and there hasn't been a lot. So I have to figure out more or less how to use it. It's simply the charger, it's the cable, you have a few um, glue sticks which you can use on your desk or on your car and you have these two magnets which you can use at the back of your mobile phone. So. I have already tried um, yeah I've been looking at these two magnets it I think this might be the X uh, shape for a uh, thing uh, compared to the U shape the X shape I think it's a little bit heavier maybe the magnet a little bit stronger so uh, when I when you put uh, the thing here um, yeah I think it depends on which yeah okay <laughs> that's the side of course the white thing is the sticker you have would have to remove the white sticker and then it only sticks to this side on the other side doesn't work I, yeah, definitely but you you hear that and it automatically positions at the right location that's really amazing and with the U shape thing similar thing maybe a little bit less magnetic but but maybe only a little bit and it can be yeah usually it aligns pretty good of course not in every direction then the u the x shape is a little bit better yeah probably but uh the thing is the difference is between the X shape and the U shape as I see is the thickness as you see the X shape it has a little bit a thick uh, rubber so like a rubber feet and the U shape is much thinner hope you can see that maybe you can focus yeah can you see that so the U shape it's is, is much much thinner so and i'm planning to use it with this cover i mean with this case so now i'm taking my phone put the thing on the back but i'm not gluing it to my phone because i you never know maybe you uh, want to resell it or so so i'm just placing it in the middle probably doesn't matter if we make it upside uh, up or down and I put my cover back in my case so first time it was pretty easy of course I already tried that without the cam so yeah you see uh, it's pretty much secured in the back between the case and the phone and now let's think this is glued so i'm just holding it in place and put my phone on it yeah so it's still the problem that it gets too low so i have to make it a little bit more flat so i made it a little bit more flat so actually i can have then the plug down when i when i put in more flat Okay, let's put it back in this position. Now take the phone and you see 
it holds really good in place i mean you can't do everything yeah of course when you, when you have it totally vertical yeah i won't do that in a car total vertical but probably yeah a little bit sh shouldn't be a problem it even if you uh, hit the bump or so that is still in holds it in place also when you have it like this but yeah the total vertical uh, position is can be a little bit difficult so i would suggest you use something like this like uh, yeah maybe, maybe yeah if you have you have your car like this okay so yeah maybe i can show you let's assume that's your car maybe you use something like this or a little bit more something like this so then it's pretty much safe you see doesn't move if, if, even if you hit the bump or something like this it's uh, really good so and if you need it more secure you can use this one maybe the, this uh, is a little bit even more secure but you see it's pretty much in, still in the same position uh, or maybe you can glue it outside to the case if you don't want to use the glue on your phone but I know a lot of people who are using it directly on the phone so now what we want to see is the charging charging capability this is car uh, fiber or carbon carbon fiber a uh, very expensive uh, material but the advantage is that it doesn't uh, protect against um, wireless charge so it's a really good material so it can charge high efficiently so uh, what I'm using now is this yeah what I, what I want to see is if it's able or capable to use two amps so now I'm using this um, USB uh, meter so I'm using the 2.1 amp which should be able to charge with 10 watts I'm connecting that yeah it's a little bit difficult so okay so you can see now when it's yeah it's already stopped because it was not charging of course so i put it to the side okay so yeah again same problem i have to be quick otherwise my charger stops so i put it here and now let's see if it's charging yes it is charging and it's charging at one amp means only 4.2 what yeah i don't know why i have experienced same problem over and over i have no idea why this happens maybe it's a problem with the charger with the phone with the cable i mean this is the original cable uh, i have seen sometimes especially with this phone you need special cable um yeah so in my case definitely you see it's still in the same yeah same range you can see that 4.1 yeah it, it's really around 4 watts nothing with 10 watts so maybe if i change position yeah 
4.3 watts 5 watts 6 7 oh that's interesting so it was for short time it was a little bit above I have no idea so what I'm gonna do now is that's really interesting it really depends it looks like it's depending on the position so probably you have to really really properly align this thing to the charger or to the charging plate to get 10 watts so I'm removing now this uh, case because sometimes it can be a problem with the case so let's see put let's put this on and see how much charge we get yeah three watts four watts watt. Yeah, I don't know why it was higher before. So obviously there's no change with the case. Don't see any difference. While moving up and down or let's try sideways again. Maybe it's just that my phone is a little bit too old that it's not capable so maybe it will work with newer phones so definitely it's not working with my what's that it's not working with my that's the galaxy s6 edge plus it's a little bit outdated it's um, two and a half years old so maybe it will work better with newer phones um yeah i mean at least it was charging good yeah what i want to see hold on a second i would like to charge try to charge with a little bit heavier case so this i'm using usually this uh flipping case or i don't know how how it's called so i'm trying now of course i don't have the magnet inside anymore i'm just turning on the charger hope i find the button okay let's see if we get some charge from here because this can be a little bit the problem so looks same thing here this sometimes is a little bit a problem with this case so it looks like it doesn't like heavier cases ah uh, there's an uh, that's nice that's a charge indicator so you can even put it down like yeah just put your phone down if you don't need to to watch it uh, yeah so seems to work but it, it needs to be uh, yeah it needs to be aligned really really good then it seems to have a stable charge no problem again same four watts not no difference so at least so good I can use the thicker um, case so that's about it yeah what i want to show you is i've been thinking about what to do with the uh stick stick uh if you want to do that if you want to use that on a desktop i've been buying this museum putty lately i haven't used that but you can really use it for to stick something uh to like your desk or glass plate or whatever you want to uh, where you want to use that you take this out and form it and put it down on your desk and then you can stick it uh yeah and use it on your desk and after that you re simply re remove that 
and remove the putty. So the thing, the idea is you can remove that and have no remain, there's no scratches, no damage, no nothing, no damage to, uh, especially no damage to your desk. So that's really important when you remove that sticker and stick it on your desk, it could uh, probably, it won't be, you won't be able to remove everything 100% uh, clear. Okay, so I think this could really help. I haven't used that. Depends on what it is, how this works. So, or you can uh, remove that and put like a piece of cardboard or use it on a, like a plastic plate. That would be a, a, an idea. Or just remove this, put a tiny piece of cardboard or uh, plastic and then use the museum's putty. So that's it. Um, I will put down the links uh, where you can order the charger and the museum putty if you like. And I hope I was able to help you a little bit with that video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.